The bright lights, the cameras, the movie stars, Hollywood, of course, it's the traditional center of the entertainment world. But if you know a thing or two about North Carolina, you know you don't have to go all the way to the West Coast to find the stars. Movies and TV shows film right here in our state. It is a multi-million dollar business that keeps our state going. So you know what? Let's dig into it. And we work hand in hand with the Department of Commerce in attracting and servicing film productions into North Carolina. And the goal is obviously to uh, create economic uh, development opportunities in those communities in which filming is taking place and also providing job opportunities uh, for North Carolinians on those projects. The North Carolina Film Office is dedicated to attracting those new film projects to our state. It really started back in the 1980s with a commission that was created to land more productions. Not only do movies spotlight our state, they pump money and jobs into the economy. Offered, uh, currently, the state offers a rebate uh, to film productions uh, if they meet at certain spending thresholds. So it's uh, marketing those, marketing a talented workforce that our state has. And then we do get into those picturesque locations um, and also sometimes the not so picturesque locations. Uh, film projects need both the good and the bad, if you will. Well, the pitch to sell movie and TV creators on our state has worked very well in the past. There are dozens of movies and TV shows famously filmed right here in North Carolina. The movie Bull Durham filmed in a few different spots, including, of course, Durham, Burlington and Greensboro. Dirty Dancing filmed at Lake Lure, southeast of Asheville. The WB Network filmed TV shows like Dawson's Creek and One Tree Hill in Wilmington. And the first Hunger Games movie filmed all over our state in abandoned towns, DuPont State Recreational Forest, and in Uptown Charlotte. Talladega Nights did most of its filming in Charlotte, including scenes at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And Blink and You Might Miss It, but Forrest Gump filmed a scene at Grandfather Mountain when he's running across the U.S. You know, cameras are still rolling all around our state and right here in the triad. The Graham Soda Shop was turned into a film set just last week. An uplifting drama called Another Life, starring Kevin Sorbro and Chris Mulkey, filmed there. Now, the owners say the cast was friendly to everyone who stopped by just to see what was going on. I think the actors that came here, even though they're from Hollywood, they love the small town, town charm of Graham, the small town charm of Graham. And they didn't hesitate uh, signing autographs and uh, meeting with people and uh, taking pictures and that was really nice. It is not the first time the Graham Soda Shop was a part of a film, commercials, a music video and another movie all filmed at that shop. Well, there's a few more things to watch for on TV screens and in movie theaters. A streaming series called Blue Ridge is filming in Charlotte right now based on the 2020 movie of the very same name. It will air on the Cowboy Way channel. Season two of the Amazon show The Summer I Turned Pretty wrapped in Wilmington a few months ago and it's going to air later this year. And a new Christmas movie filmed at the Biltmore. Watch for a Biltmore Christmas. That'll be on Hallmark later this year. A big reason why so many projects film in our state is that the incentives that we mentioned earlier, projects get a 25% rebate as long as they spend a certain amount in our state. It's really paid off so far. Last year, lawmakers, excuse me, filmmakers spent more than $258 million on productions. In 2021, the number was 416 million as many projects were delayed by COVID-19 had picked back up. Sometimes that money trickles down because local crews reach out to local businesses to then get the shoot done. And they know where if you need uh, to get um, some some window signs created in a day, where who might be able to do that uh, quickly? Who's an area florist that can meet a demand for uh, 12 dozen roses um, at, at the drop of a hat? It's not just filming that's big in our state. Movie watchers from all around the world come to the Triad every single year for the River Run International Festival. The 25th anniversary of that festival kicks off next week. River Run is a truly unique statewide treasure. We are a 10 day film festival and we are Academy Award qualifying in two categories, uh, which are documentary short films and animated short films. And uh, while some of our ticket buyers probably uh, may not even know we're Oscar qualifying in film festival world, that's a huge deal. So uh, we look forward every year to, uh, to presenting some of the best films that are out there. 
uh, literally from filmmakers across the globe. Well, this year's movie lineup was just announced uh, as of tonight. The festival picked from around 1,800 films, including many that were submitted sent by distributors and some invited as well. 174 films will be highlighted, including many centered on the music industry. In addition to screenings that you need tickets to, there are also free panels and family friendly movies that are totally free. The variety of events as well as tried hospitality truly make this a can't miss event. We have such a strong reputation uh, for having audiences who enjoy learning about the filmmaking process and meeting the filmmakers and then also the hospitality. And we've had so many filmmakers who they're sitting at the Greensboro Air Airport and they're, they're on their social media accounts saying what a great experience they had at River Run. Tickets go on sale to the general public this Thursday. The festival runs from April 13th through the 22nd. They'll put a link to the festival schedule and how to buy tickets on WFMYNews2.com. Well, another side effect of movies and shows filming in our state are the tourists who then come on trips to see their favorite sets. We've seen interest from uh, legacy projects such as Dirty Dancing and people still making pilgrimages to Lake Lure um, now but also recently uh, projects like uh, the Hunger Games uh, definitely saw an increase in visitations to some uh, North Carolina state parks and, and natural areas uh, when that came out. And we also continue to see that uh, with, with recent projects as well. So the next time that you head to the movies or you put something on the TV at home, keep an eye out for some North Carolina scenery. And if you're looking for a recommendation, WFMY to News 2's movie critic Manning Franks breaks down a new movie in his News 2 reviews every single week. You can text the word movie to 336-379-5775. We'll send you back a link to all of his reviews on the WFMY News 2 YouTube page.